Okay, so I would like to start by unpacking some of these terms uh, that are relevant to the context of my case study. Uh, usually when talking about the edge, we tend to think more about digital platforms, applications, tools, methods, and techniques that are used in digital projects. However, the edge pedagogy as a field guiding us instructors in incorporating these tools and platforms in course materials need to be constantly revisited and should inform tool creators and practitioners. Uh, DH core values are the beliefs, attitudes, and the rules uh, that govern uh, the work and guide the edge folks. And I believe they need to be applied by both the practitioners working on developing the tools, as well as those teaching the edge in the classroom. The DH core values that I specifically refer to in my talk come out of a, um, a much older publication by Lisa Spiro called, This is Why We Fight Defining the Values of the Digital Humanities. But it's such a simple and interesting, very rich chapter that seems to be uh, easy for my stu students to grasp. When I say navigating values uh, during a course, um, I mean that students have relied on these values to accomplish assignments and learn course materials during unprecedented isolating and financially taxing, taxing situations in Lebanon. A global pandemic pedagogy definitely um, is the type of pedagogy, and I'm using a quotation, to recreate a robust educational ecosystem. Not to recreate a robust educational ecosystem, but rather to provide temporary access to instruction um, and uh, instructional support in a manner that is quick to set up. However, um, with the persistence of the outbreak and the emergence of other national crises in Lebanon, the pro prolongation of the social distancing measures at schools and university pandemic pedagogy developed to embrace a long-term adaptation of hybrid and online pedagogy. Um, another quotation on a practical level, pandemic pedagogy refers to the contingent problem solving and troubleshooting mentalities required in the redesign and ad adaptation of curricula to new formats and timeframes. And I believe this is a mentality that I and my students were able to rely on during um, the um, to uh, as and the on due to the inclusion of the edge core values. Reflecting on this in a post pandemic era, I may have reason to celebrate that some of the DH core values assisted me and many of my students during unprecedented times. Um, the question remains is what is still needed for our core values to steer us towards a more inclusive and sustainable global DH pedagogy? And how can global the edge pedagogy learn from local contexts. Um, so this is the context. Uh, this is still a work in progress. Um, I gave a presentation about this last year in a mid-year forum at Amical Consortium. And I would really appreciate any feedback, especially if I don't cover the last two slides um, on uh, my um, intervention. Um, I was a senior lecturer at the American University of Beirut, where the edge is a relative new newcomer to the English department. We don't have a DH center. And it seems to attract students from all departments except the English department. I introduced two DH courses um, at the un undergraduate level, Introduction to DH and Doing DH. And um, the syllabi and assignments are on my blog. I will share at the end. And um, they're both electives. So students in my classes come from industrial engineering, nursing, media studies, uh, business, which has proven to be a great advantage for group work, um, as I will mention later. Uh, this has made me also try to find ways to make uh, literature relevant and accessible to students from outside the humanities. The context also refers to the situation in Lebanon. There was the 17th October uprising in 2019, which, which pushed students to, and professors to the streets, leading to strikes and disruption of attendance. However, not all students and professors joined the uprising. So if I'm talking about diversity and inclusiveness, I had to make sure I am uh, uh, able to um, uh, 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 address both these two different um, sects. In 2020, the pandemic disrupted on-campus activities and face-to-face -face teaching, leading to online synchronous and asynchronous uh, uh, learning. However, the port explosion of August the 8th in 2020 led to displacement of so many families and students and the last thing, and which still persists now, is the financial collapse, which has led to a number of crises impacting teaching and scholarship. The impact on learners, definitely tuition fees were no longer accessible. Um, not all students had access to laptop, laptops, although AUB is an elitist university. 
More importantly, electricity cuts due to lack of funds and fuel disruptions uh, disrupted attendance. Um, online learning, collaborative assignments um, also were disrupted. Uh, social distancing led to further um, isolation of students. Um, oh my God, the time is up. Okay, let me move to the next one. Yeah, so go ahead and wrap the up. Reason for yeah, okay, so I'll wrap up. So these are the basic uh, um, core values that I'm referring to. And um, um, I was meant to say how each value, uh, to explain how each value contributed to allowing my students navigate the courses. And most importantly, how it uh, in fact impacted me um, and my resilience as, as, uh, as faculty during these hard times. I would like to end by saying that we have a Digital Humanities Institute in Beirut. And we the one of the ways to uh, navigate this very hard time was to actually um, not compare ourselves to international um, uh, institutes, but to actually rely on our own um, situation. Um, I would also like to say that um, when we look at DH pedagogy and core values, we need to look at the local context of these values and help them inform the um, global digital humanities values. I'm sorry, I ran out of time. These are some of the uh, sources and um, um, I will welcome any more questions during the Q&A.